I don't think there's a specific pressure to show the bird in a certain way, but I feel as though I owe it to nature to showcase it as it is, as it is in all of its own beauty. I don't think I need to over-exaggerate the beauty or showcase in a way that's not true to itself. Scouting a new country and then looking for new birds is perhaps one of my absolute favorite things. I spend on average anywhere from about 180 to 250 days traveling. You get used to being uncomfortable. <laughs> but being comfortable doesn't excite me. When the subject you're photographing allows you to enter its space, we can be so close. That's a really special moment. You've got very little control over the bird and the environment, but what you do have control over is the camera. Because you may only get one second and that's a long time for a bird to, to be in one pose. But the first time I picked up this system and I took it outside in my backyard, I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> it's getting all these birds in flight, morning doves, starlings. I mean, those things fly fast. The OM-1 picks the bird out of the air and even track the head and the eye. And then this battery is lasting all day. I had one battery per day and I still had maybe 10, 12% left at the end. When you find yourself in a situation where you've managed to get the light that you want, when you've managed the composition that you want, the subject is behaving how you want, and you seem to just be in complete harmony with your camera, like when everything just comes together and it clicks. Well, it's a moment that you'll Never forget.